Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, uh, uh, Sarah. Uh, oh, our channel. Oh, our <laughs> channel. Welcome back to uh, the Sarah Sarah channel. And so it's an exciting day to talk about the roster, the She Believes roster that has just been announced today, this morning. Yeah, She Believes Cup 2022. Yeah, and it starts, I believe it starts the 17th of February. And we are going to go over it. We're going to go over it. We're going to talk a little bit about it. Um, well, first it says, it says one week to camp, two weeks until kickoff at the 2022 She Believes Cup. Oh, uh, excited. So two weeks, they will be playing a game. Oh, okay. So if we look at the goalkeepers, we have... Aubrey Kingsbury, which is now, or which is formerly Aubrey Bledsoe. Yeah. Uh, Casey Murphy, Alyssa Nair. Perfect. Um, then defenders. And we've got Alana Cook, Abby Delkemper, Tiernan Davidson, Emily Fox, Sophia Huerta, Kelly O'Hara, Becky Sarbrun, Emily Sonnet. Yeah, a lot of um, usual suspects, as we like to say. Uh, and then we got the midfielders, Morgan Atro, Lizzie Horan, Rose Lavelle, Katarina Macario, Christy Mewis, Ashley Sanchez, and Andy Sullivan. And for forwards, we got Ashley Hatch, Mallory Pugh, Margaret Purse, oh, Midge Purse, <laughs> uh, Sophia Smith, and Lynn Williams. Okay, so I think... First of all, the thing that pops out again, like it was for the January camp and like it was against Australia, that like the Pinos, the Alex, the Tobin Kristen. Yeah, the big, big household names the, are yeah. excluded from this roster. And somebody actually left, left us a comment last video saying, and I had read this too, that Vladko had made comments in the past, kind of like uh, his, always his plan. He was never planning on... Uh, calling those players in to even she believes that that people that he that was always kind of his plan um i don't know if it was a direct like comment he said that but that was kind of like he wants to develop the younger players the players that are the future so i think in that instance it wasn't that big of a shock we are going to read a quote from vladko in a second um, but we'll talk about a couple other people but then we'll get back to the the vets in a second because he did make kind of an interesting quote earlier that uh had a lot of people talking but if we go back to like the the midfielders we don't see sam Mewis in there um and people are like well, why don't you know we see great to see christy still i mean you know she's one of our faves on this channel um but we don't see sam Mewis. um but apparently there has been an update about sam sam has been injured she is doing well she's recovering very well she is right now with her team the kansas city current she's actually in preseason she's getting ready to go to florida she's going to continue her pt and work out her treatments in the month that they're gonna spend in Florida. And we're excited to have her back as soon as possible. So Sam Mewis, not in the mix for this She Believes Cup. cup. Too bad. A couple of people also noticed Trinity Rodman had not been selected for She Believes. Yeah. And I, we were going to talk about this, but if anyone's on the news that Trinity Rodman um, had just signed her deal with Washington Spirit yeah. for $1.1 $1. 1 million, yeah, it's a pretty sweet deal. So she is definitely on track to be being one of the four the major players in women's soccer in the coming years. But yeah. I have a quote saying So Andonovsky says this about Trinity Trinity Rodman. She did well in camp. She was very competitive. Her mindset fits in fits well in it. She's really doing good in the league, but the national team is a completely different animal. Well, we want to give her a chance to slowly adjust to the system. Yeah, and I mean, that makes mm. sense. You know, she's so young, you know, so young that it's probably, there's no need to throw her right in there right away. You can always give Peas a chance. True, yeah, and people might be looking at it in that respect too. And then also, people are wondering, you know, what's going on with Julie Ertz? Um, yeah, I've been wondering this for a while. Yeah, so we have a comment on that, a quote on that. Vladko says on Julie Ertz, I cannot speak uh, about Angel City or Julie's plans for club, but Julie was not ready to come into camp from the physical standpoint. She understands that to come back in the camp, you really need to be healthy and perform in club market. If anyone is following kind of NWSL, Angel City, and she's not on the preseason roster for Angel huh. City, they don't even think she's going to play for club this year um what the heck yeah so who knows you know it looks like maybe there's something going on behind the scenes but it does not look like she's coming back anytime soon at this point so you know seeing her we talked about alex not being there and pino not being there and 
I'm going to read a comment that he says, this comment's kind of clipped from a larger comment, but this part of the comment he talked about kind of perked up some people's ears. So I'm going to have Sarah read this because it's like, what did this mean when he said it? But So Vladko, with a bit of a message when asked about the absence of vets like Rapino, Morgan, and Press. There is a reason why Mia Hamm is not in camp still. We're not calling Julie Foudy, right? So same goes here. They need to perform. So um, that's kind of an interesting comment. That's an interesting way to put it. That's an interesting way to say it. I think it's coming off a a little bit, yeah, aggressive or however (laughs) you want to say. And I think I understand what he's saying. It's just kind of like just because you're Alex Morgan or just because you're Megan Rapinoe doesn't necessarily automatically get a call in kind of thing. And a lot of, you know, it sounds almost like salty against the vets, you know. Um, Yeah. It sounds, but I don't think that's the way he really means it. I actually no, I don't. don't. So. No, he wants to give people who are really performing that shot. Also, you know, the idea of keep calling in 30, 32 year olds, 33 year olds, it's not always the best game plan for a coach for the longevity. You know, he needs to develop the players. You I know. think the idea is if the if the younger players he gives them a chance and they're just not performing to an Alex Morgan standard or a you know Pino standard then the you you know he's gonna say you know I gave you a chance because that's the fair thing I give you a chance and yeah so I think it's interesting that 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 comment was interesting and I think I think he you know he wants to see him perform and yeah he's got some interesting methods so far yeah so we'll and you see know how it goes i see a lot of people just not digging it too you know what i mean like they're like yeah. and it's hard you know and i also read that once world cup qualifiers come around you're gonna see alex Moore. you're gonna see Kristen press you're gonna see you know according to his method you might not <laughs> <laughs> true true but so I, yeah <laughs> i don't think Kristen. i don't think alex morgan's going anywhere i the only thing that would keep tobin heath away for, from something like that is um, you know being continuously injured what does everyone think about this roster i think you know and i i think vladko took kind of the olympics hard too because people were blaming him for for bombing you know yeah so what do you guys think about this anything any tidbits you guys want to talk about on that um also we kind of mentioned it in last video tobin and Kristen were not called in i thought it was 50 50 whether or not they'd be called in is Tobin still going to go to the USA, uh, the WSL break? I don't know because I thought I read somewhere that Arsenal in particular clubs, if you're not officially called in during the break to your uh, to your national team, then they still have mandatory training practices for Arsenal uh, and stuff. Yeah, I could see, yeah, I could see that happening. But they might make an ex- you know they might it might be player by player decision for that Mm -hmm. so Tobin or it might have been in her contract originally during this window no matter whether or not I'm called I'm gonna go home we you know it could be that so could she still may possibly make a trip home for that three weeks possibly I could see that but they're not gonna be at she believes yeah (laughs) Um, also the February 1st uh came Kristen reported to Angel City FC and they posted some super cute pictures I'll put them on the screen and they're there Kristen looking cute um some videos from them Looks like a pretty solid team to me. Yeah, it'll be exciting for them. It'll be yeah. really exciting for them. For sure. Also, Tobin did. Tobin does follow Angel City FC, and she did like some of these pictures. So that, um, you know, she is keeping up from the UK. She's keeping up with the Kardashians, for sure. <laughs> so uh, what does everyone think? Think questions, comments down below. Are you going to She Believes? And or if you are, are you excited? Because I know when Sarah and I went, it was like literally the best night ever, so... Except for the woman who was coughing next to us, and I was paranoid. Yeah, she was. Questions, comments down below. We'll talk to everyone later. Have a good night. We'll talk to you. All righty. Bye. Stay safe.